Hey Majors on the internet, Matt here from Total MTG with another Ikoria Arena standard deck guide brew for you. And today I'm going back to control. You know me, I love control decks, we love them here on the channel. But it's not involving blue today, I'm staying away from the blue. We are going Orzov, black white control. Let's take a look at the deck. So we're going Orzov control today. Love Orzov control, we've got some very good cards to utilise in this. None other than Hushbringer. Hushbringer is a card that does a lot in this current format. There's a lot of stuff with ETB effects that come in into the into the um, battlefield. This can really help us if it stays in the field. It might get a couple of interactions where it helps us out. They will obviously, opponents will tend to try and kill this very, very quickly. But we do have a little recursion here with our little Elves Best Conqueror's Death if we need to. Now we do have a creature that comes in that obviously has an enter battlefield effect. But I do feel that running Hushbringer, it, you know, the good outweighs the bad with this interaction here. Sometimes, you know, late games, this is just coming in and doing its job anyway with the Hushbringer's already done there, gone, died, and done what they needed to do. So, you know, Cavalier, don't worry about having that in the deck as well. So what are we running? So Black White, we're going to have Agonizing Remorse. This is a deck that's really going to attack, really, attack? Attack the current meta. Graveyard deck, shenanigans, enter the battlefield effects. So we're going to have Agonizer Remorse in there to attack their graveyards and stop things coming in after they've played and want to play them again. Looking at you, Euro. We've got good removal in Heartless Act. Destroy creature with no counts on it. does hit some very, very big creatures. And obviously the remove three can attack those Nissa decks when they put them on the lands. And we can take them off and kill the lands as well. Banishing Light. Got this non land removal, great for us in there. Puts a little enchantment into play for us. We want to put stuff into exile. We've got remorse here. We're going off with a full play set of Leyline of the Void. Now, this really is a deck to take on the meta. It really is. There's so much graveyard shenanigans going on. Leyline of the Void is going to be there because it can set up for a big. Hey, yeah, this can be a win con once we get to that minus five and everything of their own is in exile and we just whack them with a big Kaya Orzov Usurper. That's the plan anyway. So we've got Mortify, getting rid of those enchantments or fires decks. We need a little bit of help there, so Mortify can do that job. Oath of Kai, a bit of removal and helps with life gain. We've got life gain in the Murderous Riders in the deck. We've got it in Kaya as well, which is really good for us. Um, it's just, you know, you're going to need a little bit of life gain. I would like more, but this is what we've got. Obviously, Kai does as well. So, you know, Kai, when it does the damage, we gain that much life as well. So we've got a bit of life gain in there. Shatter the Sky, much needed. We're running very minimal creatures here. We're hoping to win with either the Big Cavalier or mainly with the Planeswalkers, which you'll see are Liliana and Ugin. This is what we got. You know, we're Orzov. Orzov could do with a little bit more help, I feel, in, in standard. So next set, please give us some really big... Good Orzov colours, you know, give, give us something good in Orzov. Um, Extinction Event is there, just a cheeky little one-off. I like this card, I'm, I am an hour about this card. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I had two in there, back down, back down, just changed it for another Shatter the Sky. So when I was three and two, now I'm four and one. Uh, spoke about Ley Lines, really important if we could have that in the opening hand. Sometimes opponents just quit, it really does happen. Um, Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Sweet, sweet card. One of the best cards in standard, I feel. Exiling stuff and then bringing back potentially the Cavaliers. We've got Hushbringers. We've got Liliana, Dreadhorde, and we've got Ugin as well to try and finish out the game for us with their tokens. Um, card draw. I'm relying on Castle Lockthwain because the main deck is pretty much as it is and it's been working pretty well. So fingers crossed the video it does as well but castle of Wayne can be a really good card draw and we've got a bit of life gain to sort of stipulate the the uh, the downside of that which is where we lose life uh lands shrine silence fable passages you all sort of stuff there um oars of control we're pretty low mana as well which is nice we've got a couple of big ones at the end there but you know starting off with a nice low curve there as you can see over here with the curve average is 3.4 we've got just the eight creatures we're really a spell orientated deck let's take it to some gameplay now and hopefully we get some wins so here we go for match one against dorgar i just want to appreciate everyone that answered my question there about what decks you want to see coming up in future on the channel um I am working my way through them and have a look and see what I can do. But anyone else, make sure you do that as well. Put in the comments what decks you'd like to see on the channel, whether your own brews, you can link a list, or just let me know which decks you want to see. Uh, so we're going to keep that. 
I think agonizing remorse is nice. Heartless act. We can go off with a temple of silence. And scry me a river. What do we got? Don't want another one land just there. We've got one in hand. That's okay at the moment. We want landage. What are we playing? Season of growth. Nice. Alright, let's sell. That would have been nice. Open in hand, but we might not need it in this game. Let's have a look what we got. What we got? Ooh, parcel. Or the migrating. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that one because that one gets the lands. So we're going to get rid of that. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm, you know, practically putting out videos most days at the moment. And um, I stream over on Twitch as well, so make sure you go and look at the link in the description. Give me a follow over there as well. See some live gameplay. Um, what do we want to do? What's coming down next turn? Possibly the parcel. So we probably want to kill that. Let's kill that next turn. Let's do next. Okay, we'll leave up our murderous rider. They might play the parcel if they get... Uh, they got a taps land, unfortunately. Unfortunately for us. Oh, we... Um, I think we'll just play this tapped and pass the turn again. So, we can murder this rider the parcel when it comes down. Uh, when a creature is available, whenever you cast about the tug, so we just draw a card. Good little uncommon, that one. Good little uncommon. Okay, Lazatop makes one of them. Okay. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. It's got a counter on. Oh, okay. Yeah, put that on top. That's fine. That. Oh, what? It just skip, skipped through? What was all that about? Not sure why that skipped through. I don't think I paid skip through. I had an instant there. Um, so we're going to have to do it in our turn now, which is really annoying. So let's do that. And let's do a remorse. What do we got here? Ooh, oh, 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 that's big, and that was enough for the game. Opponent didn't want to see no more. Well, that was a quick first game. Opponent just backed out. We took their hand. If only all games on the ladder were as quick as that, eh? If only they were. <laughs> this is obviously play, but imagine that in ladder. People just quit, and you rose up to mythic. Oh, the dream. Right, let's get on to another game. Here we go. Another the game against NHJMO. JMO. NHJMO. Right, what do we got? Okay, have we got lands, we've got cars, we've got a bit of, we've got removal. Let's give it a go. Going with our godless shrine, and there's a Kaya. Of the planeswalker type, so that's pretty decent for us. Okay, more land, pass turn, right. Let's put on the control. Anything coming down? Nothing coming down, that's a shame. Right, remorse. Let's have a look if we can. Could have played around Quench and waited there if they did have a Quench. Could have played wait next turn potentially, but... Okay, Mystical Dispute. Couldn't have played around that. Maybe some sort of... Is it Control? Thirst of Meaning. Maybe Seize deck then, looking at Thirst of Meaning possibly. Could be C's. Could be C's. Okay, what went in there? Fire Prophecy. Okay. Um, let's start exiling the graveyard. Okay, so one, two. We're just going to get rid of stuff. We don't get any life because there's no creature cards there, but hey. We'll start putting stuff into exile ready. Kaya might force the opponent to play sank. Expecting some sort of planeswalker, like a Rowl or something like that, coming up. Wouldn't have thought it's a hasty one. Could be Nifs. We just don't know yet. I'm still going. I was still going for Ominous Seas deck, but we've got an Ugin there, but that we're after playing this, we're only be one land away from. If we can get it around. Folio of Fancies. Okay. There's another Agonizing Remorse. So let's um, plus over here first. One, two. Get rid of some stuff there. Then we'll try for a Oath of Kaya first. 
Dematerializing? Let's try for an oath. Maybe bait out a counter. Probably won't. It doesn't do much. Does three damage. No. Uh, the question is, do we agonize or remorse? Or we do it next turn. I think we do it next turn. End turn. Give a chance for us to. We could, well, we both draw one card. Don't mind our hand being filled with 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 cards. To be honest, so you can do that, Folio. Come on, little Folio. Yes, we both draw one card. Ooh, lily, Lily, Lily. Maybe it gets to that land as well. What have we got in the graveyard at the moment? Just the four. Okay. In the exile zone, not graveyard. Scorching. Okay. Okay. Usually I'm better at dodging. Are we going to get another one? No. Okay. Uh, well, I'm assuming... Hold on. Let's activate this first. Just do one of them. And then we will stick this on the folio because I think if they got a counter, they will counter forever. this. So let's banish in light the folio, or attempt to anyway. Oh, it gets through, which makes me think they might not. Okay. Nice, nice. Both draw a card. And we get a land. Lovely. Let's remorse. What's in your hand, NHJ Mo? Works very well, Horse Office Control Deck. It really does. Uh, what do we got there? Well, expansion. Naheb. I think we go expansion. Let's get rid of that. Let's play a land. Go and search. They do have mystical disputes. Um, what do we want to get? Um, probably get a planes. So, yeah, they've got mystical. Not worry about that one. But they've got mystical. So... We've got no blue spells in hand, so they're going to have to pay the three. That's that's one thing. Royal Skeons comes down. Draw a card, discard a card. Don't be a land, please. Because we don't... Yay, that's good. Oh, no, that's not good. They got the land. Okay. Uh, we we'll keep that. Let's... Um, plus... Get rid of the prophecy. And we shall attempt another Kaya to bring Royal Skions down a bit. This might get the counter out. Doesn't matter if they do, we got the three mana. Okay, and keep. Knock that down a little bit so it keeps it a little bit in check. So it has to go quite a way to get to the minus eight now. Quite away, you know, six, five interactions. Here's a card drawing machine, though. Got to worry about that mystical spirit. We've got another land coming next time. Right, okay. And that could get the mystical dispute. Makes no difference if it does. Okay, keep safe, which means we have a Varugin or this to play whatever we want to play um, I think we do want to get rid of let's do that Hold on. Um, what's this do okay let's play Ugin <clears throat> We'll get rid of a real. We need to card one more cards each time. Draw that many cards. He's just got in your graveyard. So we will destroy the Everwise. And then we will plus over here. And get rid of them. Okay. So still mystical disputes to play around to get the this in the ball, but we're building up those lands. Tricky, 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 tricky. What we got in there now? Ten cards, ten damage. <laughs> you do have to do some work to get Kai to go up, but hey. Uh, if they play this is now, Neheb. Yep, Neheb comes in. Uh, what does it do? He makes card in cards. If you do draw that many cards, it doesn't have hastage. Oh, they drew that other land, and we get a tapped land, unfortunately. 
That is very good. That can stay. We will plus. Oh, we don't. We, we have to wait. We have to be patient. We have to be patient for that. So this has trample. Hold on. If we exile that and play it, one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. One, two, five. We still have the three. Uh, do you know what? Gonna do that now. I'm gonna get my Elsbeths. I'm gonna play my Elsbeths. Conqueror's death. Now we can play around Mystical Dispute. Yep, um, auto pay. And what should we get rid of first? We get rid of Neheb. That can go. Okay, yes, that worked out pretty well for us there. Just need to deal with the Skions now. And that was enough. Oh, the Planeswalkers overtook the game. Look at that secret tech play getting rid of our own creature to get the Elsbeth. That's what you come here for. You come here for those top plays, don't you? Occasionally, they do happen. Uh, so let's get on to another game, shall we? Deck's doing good. Deck's doing good. Right. Mr. The Judd. Prepare to meet Orzov. Control. Um, it's a terrible hand, but I've got double ley line, so I'm prepared to lose a match just to put the double ley line on and see if we get a quit. Boom, boom. What? No quit. Damn it, we didn't get a quit. I was hoping for a quit there. Probably playing mono red. <laughs> oh, what did I say? I said probably playing mono red makes no difference whatsoever. Oh, giddy giddy aunt. All right, let's get that in. Well, we've got the mortifying in case it's calamity. We are in BO1, remember? Oh, no. Okay, fervent. Could still be calamity decks. Yeah, I kept a silly hand, I know, but I wanted to put it down double ley line. Sometimes you've got to sacrifice for the good of the video <laughs> to, to put on a stupid hand. Hey, we're having fun here. We're having fun. Right. Nice. Oh, that's nice. That will be nice. Come on. The time when extinction event will just be absolutely amazing. We need that other land. Oh, there's the club. Right. Control. Come on. We were ready for that one. We're prepared for this meta. Alright. Take that opponent. Is that... Is a sorcerer. I wish that was instant. Oh, that'd be great if it was instant. I'm trying to wait for their big flyer to come down. The 1-3 that gets out of hand. Right. Let's see what you got. There it is. I mean, we could honestly just take it. Look at that. That is goodness. If we take the skewer, we could get a full house here if they put that down. We really could get a full house. Right, we need land so badly to pull ourselves into this guy. I've took a chance. I've took a chance that we're going to draw this land. From the top. Like a dream. Yeah. Like a dream. It's coming or we're dead. And it's a tap land. Oh, it doesn't matter if we decide. I mean, that's going to attack with haste. That's going to pump it. Oh, my God. We were so good. We just needed that. Planes on top. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Didn't go down with a torch. Okay, pump. Four, five, six. Why didn't they go down with that and just win? They must have another one in it. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Whatever. I was trying to be too cocky. I thought I could let that on the field, draw the land and do it, but it just did not happen and it ended up killing us. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Bad play. Bad play. The whole, you know, the whole idea of that game was bad when I kept that open in hand. But hopefully it made you chuckle. 
you know, these games aren't all about serious wins. When you're all sitting at home, they're, you know, they're there to hopefully make you laugh as well. <laughs> right, on to the next game. Serious game of face now. Ozil, 36. Right, interesting hand. Interesting. Keep. We will go Fable Passage, opening hand. We go Fable Passage for the old Swamp Manor. Hushbringer will then come in. Get the neck ready for serious gamer face. Serious gamer face. Right. Let's get the swamp. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Boom. Boom. Serious gamer face. Right. Temple of Triumph comes in. It's a scry me a river. Right, come on. Let's go hush. We do have another hush, which is nice, because playing red. Naughty red. Naughty red. Blue. It's the Jez Kai. Oh, I'm going to seize. I'm going to seize. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's go, champ. Let's go, Kaya. Let's pump the Kaya. Okay, submit naught. There's the first counter on the Ominous. So we do have a Heartless Act ready to kill the 8-8 eight, eight big, big Kraken. Okay, Island. We don't like the Island. Go. Okay. Get a draw card. We've got another one. Okay. Yay! More fodder for Kaya. Okay. Scry. Keep. Another Hushbringer. And we get rid of that. And pass the turn. Oh, I'm going to seize this. It's, it's one of my favourite cards from the new set, Icoria, without a doubt. Not so new now, but it still hasn't officially been released in paper. Are you looking forward to cracking those packs? Are you going to be buying boosters? Let me know. If any of you are streamers out there and you're going to be streaming it, I'd love to watch. All right, Birth of the Lettuce. Damn you. Oh, oh, Elspeth is not going to be doing much at the moment. Um, let's play. Um, let's... And get rid of that. Not much in exile. Uh, we could do this and then get it back potentially, but uh, I think we passed turn at the moment. I mean, are they fully relying? Uh, we'll put a little stop there because we will be able to do something. See if anything comes in. Up to four. Hmm. Pass. Oh, I don't like that. Don't really want to lose this to a counter spell, but no, we got through. Sweet. Okay. Our turn. Right. Um, let's play. Let's play this first. No counter spell. Sweet. Right. Let's go with the Agonizer Remorse. Oh, ho, ho, Dream Trawler, you say good. Bye. And it definitely, definitely goes. So, Exile. Um, zero. Nice. That was a good card to put into Exile. That was a very good card to put into Exile. Right, another Miletus comes in. I didn't put Miletus in this deck, interestingly enough. I just... It's alright having the zero for and the extra bit of life gain, but I don't know. I just... just felt like it, it didn't do enough for me, if you know what I mean. Uh, what we got in there now? Just the three. So let's just do one more. Get rid of that. Okay. In turn. So the ominous seas, they've not really got up there very quickly, which is lucky for us because I've played against some decks that really do just go off, you know, with it. Um, I forgot that we've actually got Kaya for the ominous seas as well. So I'm actually just going to get rid of that, you know. Come on. I'm actually just going to get rid of that. We've got Kaya that can deal with these ominous seeds all day long. So let's do that. Scry. 
Yeah, we'll keep that removal on top. Um, we will minus five. Do a little bit of damage. There we go. This is gonna. I'll put some pressure on. I've got to remember to castle Lock Thwain here as well now because we've used our life gain. Gain to life. Okay. Got one card in hand. We're going to draw a heartless app, which is nice. Nice. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Well, they won't play it straight away. Uh, but that's what the Heartless Act is for. If they do do it now, oh, it's a fairy. Now, well, okay. What, you're going to bounce? If they bounce the Murder's Rider, we can just kill Teferi. So they can bounce the Hushbringer. They don't get a great lot of value from doing anything there, really. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's going to cost me an extra life. Damn it. Should have clicked that. That's a bit of a mistake there. Cost me a life. Cost me a life. Damn it. Resolve. We got lots of life, but it's still a stupid play. Okay. So, what should we do? We can attack in there. We're looking pretty good in this game, I must admit. We're looking pretty good. So, we will pass turn. Oh, 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 oh Lily. Attack in at Teferi. Uh, put the full control up. Come on. Hopefully they don't have a counter spell. Uh, what? Kill spell, sorry. Counter spell. What are you doing, OPP? We're going to attack Teferi. What we're hoping they do is just make an ominously token. We heartless act it. Or it dies and then we activate Kyra and kill it that way. Either way. It depends what that last card is in hand. Opponent is roping. Might necessarily not be roping. Could be just be thinking. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Let's attack in. Uh, put the full control up. This is flashing, so I'm assuming this is coming in. The big 8-8. Eight, eight. Maybe not. Yep, it is. Okay, resolve. Hold on. Oh, I forgot it's the fairy. Oh, you kids. <laughs> oh, about the times I forget that. Oh, it gets shuffled back in, doesn't it? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> now I have to go uh, minus one on that. That goes. And then I go in with Elsbeth's and hopefully don't meet a counter to get rid of Teferi. If not, it's going to be a slightly longer game. That's it. Right, sweet. Okay, get rid of Tefs. Get rid of Tefs, please. Uh, they're going to have to go some to get up to another Ominous Seas Kraken, but it can be done quite easily. So draw a card. What have we got in the graveyard? we got our Hushbringers to bring back with Elsbeth, which is okay. Oh, noise, noise. Yeah, we're going to be killing that. Okay, so non creature spell costs more. Let's destroy. Okay, um, play ourselves a little Hushbringer. The Hushbringer with the amazing art by Bastion de Harmy. I'd love to know what that last card is. All right, let's exile some more stuff. We go with that, and we'll go with that. Submit, submit. And pass the turn. Oh, there's another counter. Another counter. Okay. Oh, nice land over there, though. Nice land. Oh, the typhoon is in. Um, let's bring that. Um, plus one, one counter. Okay. Um, so we will plus, get rid of that, attack in, 
Play Liliana. Get ourselves a zombie. And we do have a kill spell. We've we got two kill spells, to be honest. Um, it depends how big they find with the Shark Typhoon. We need to, obviously, try and deal with that. Um, but we do have Kaya to keep that in check. The minus one just kills. If they're doing it one for one at a time, we can do that. But if it's obviously instant speeds, they can get around it. That way uh, makes it harder when they have to fit. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, they scry a river. What we got in there? We got quite a lot. Three, six, seven, eight. So we're definitely getting close to the win now. It's because I put the serious game face on for this game. <laughs> I don't think so. I punted hard. Shatter the sky. Okay, plus. And then. Uh, oh, come on. Plus again. Um, Summit zero. Attack in. And we will end turn 32 life. Whoa. So we can definitely afford to um, cast a lot of Wayne here. We'll take four life. Okay, opt. Oh, this, this is going to trigger a few. So there's one blocker. Depends what they draw. If they keep drawing card draw, then it's just going to keep making loads. But we, we can deal with it. We're not worried. We're not worried. We're not worried. <laughs> he says. He says we're not worried. Okay. Sweet. Oh no! That now that is worrying. Um. Okay. Yeah, that was a good that was a good draw for opponent. Definitely keeps him in the game a bit. Keeps him in the game a bit. So let's do a bit of castle. Plenty of life. Plenty of life. Our turn. Right. Um. Enters tapped. Get a zombie. We will plus one, two. Get rid of them. Um, what we got? Now we'll leave the ley line there. And we're past turn. We want to leave up the murderous rider. Well, our opponent, we can get him next turn. We can definitely exile. So there is the resolve. It's been a really good game, actually. Yeah? I'm going to see his cracking card. These two cards here, Typhoon Seas, easily my favourite cards from the set. Easily. Oh, damn. <clears throat> what have we got in there, though? It's 10. That's just game. Okay, we draw a card. Resolve. Oh, they get a Kraken. The Kraken. The Kraken comes in. Pass. What do they have? The Kraken, is it coming in this turn ready for our murderous rider? They know. They're counting the cards in the exile. We can win this now. Kaya for the win. Okay, opponent's taking their time. Don't rope after such a good game, Ozil. You've got one mana. Our turn. We draw. Minus five. With the Kaya. For the win. Here it comes. Don't disappoint me. Make your Kraken first then. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> they felt the need to make the Kraken. But we still get with another win with the old oars of control. Whoo. Right. Oh, some more gems. Can we keep the winning streak going? We're playing W7 Black. Against Tall MTG. What do we got? Oh, oh no, it's in the hand again. I've got to keep it. Ah, oh, there we go. We are playing Umari. Submit. <laughs> Lay under the void. Come on. Uh, let's... Temple of Silence. Yeah, we want the lands at the moment. We've got big oogs in hand, so we need those lands. We need those lands. Okay. Get a little godless shrine in. Oh, it's the dastardly colours over there. Polywog Symbiote. 
Nice. Mutate. Like it. Gonna need to find some wraths, some shatters of those skies. Definitely soon. C Dasher comes in. Okay. That's cost three mana, which is nice. Goes on top. Lovely. So we can exile. If we can get up there without dying. <laughs> I've just got three cards in hand and obviously the Umari. Card draw city. Lovely card, Octopus. Octopus, lovely. Right, come on. Come on. Right, Hushbringer is nice. Um, we will play. I will play that now. Um, let's get one of these. Hushbringer comes in. So we're gonna have to get rid of that next with the Elsbeth, and then hopefully you know, we can destroy stuff or start making tokens, whatever we need to do. Dun, 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 dun. That will mutate, get a land. So a big three, four now. Maybe we should be killing that. Um, preserve life. Preserve life. <laughs> That's what we want to do. They've got loads of mana, so making them cost less doesn't really matter. We need the Wrath. Come on, Wrath. Come on, Wrath. They're going all in. Oh. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. There's one. That's one. So we can come down. Oh, we can come down and do absolutely nothing because we're dead. <laughs> oh, yes. Love it, W7 Black. That was sweet. That was sweet. I was happy after that game, even though I was sad that I lost. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, that seems like an epic way to lose a, lose a match and end a video there. Uh, keeping it a bit short today. Um, chucking out these videos every day. It's taking its toll, shall we say. Uh, but hey, I love doing it. I love making videos for you. I hope you're all enjoying them. So yes, Oars of Control. Um, fun, fun deck. Hushbringer does some work. It's basically like, it is a bit of an anti-meta anti, anti -meta deck. It, it does work that way. Lay down the voids and didn't meet any Auros or anything, but that is still, um, what did we? I can't remember if we did or not. I can't remember. It's still a very good card, especially in this current climate. Uh, Lillian can win games. Ugi wins games. Cavalier wins games. And Kyra, as you can saw, can win a game all by itself as well. We have enough putting stuff into Exile here to make it, you know, a, a viable win condition. Uh, but this is the deck. Let me know what you think. And like I said, any others, oh, whack the mic. Put them in the comments what you want to see any other decks meta decks anything you want to see just put it in the comments um like subscribe comment all that jazz youtube loves it and i appreciate it so you lot take care and i will see you on the next video